Hello everyone and welcome back to Fear Project Origin. Last time we got our slow mobility. This time when still on our way through the hospital. Ooh! Explodey barrels. Well, sort of. Hey, where did, where did you disappear to? Doesn't really matter. I like how this guy isn't even concerned about no no stunts about those explosions but then again those are the shotgun elite guys yep well this guy has a proper reaction to what actually happened oh so where are you come on don't have all day so hold are you trying to flank me Oh, that was a mistake. It clearly was. And the screen shaking is incredible. So let's just... Oh, you're still alive. Well, now you're not, but... You're still alive too. Man, those explody barrels. What the hell? I emptied half a magazine into your bum and you, you just... You don't even bleed from that? That's, that's ridiculous. Otherwise, this game is completely realistic. Let's collect all the stuff. Oh, what the hell? Where did you come from? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. What the hell is that? Okay, just how many more of you guys are there? Anyway. Let's just check whether there's any more. Ooh! Well, you guys really have to stop coming out of nowhere here. Okay, so everybody here is dead, I think. Please pick that up. That whiteboard was not used as it is intended. Oop. Med kits are full and we can't even use the med kits. So yeah. For for those who, who didn't join me for the previous episodes, I disabled the hood in this game because the hood is oop. It's pretty ugly because it, it's essentially essentially a pair of cyber goggles you're wearing. And uh, I find them very, very distracting. And I think the game is actually more pleasant with those goggles turned off, even though it means you can't really see what your health and your current ammunition and grenade type and everything are. So let's see what we have here. We've got those pieces of intel. I'm not even going to... Nah, pistol's already full. Now yeah, let's use... Well, actually, let's not use shotguns. Shotguns are already... Pretty terrible at medium range, at long range. Nah, what the hell, wet? There's a lot of these guys. They just they just keep coming and coming. Anyway, what I want to say is that those intel pieces they don't have any audio, so I would just be standing there and reading them out for a while. And they aren't all that interesting because the story of Fear Two is for the most part. Hmm, that's full too. That's okay with me. For the most part, just the story of the first fear. So Snake Fist is apparently on our side. Yeah, Snake Fist doesn't get any edgier than that. So. Oh yeah, anyway, the lore isn't super interesting and it's largely the same lore from the first fear, so I may as well just skip it. And... Oh, that's bulletproof, that's great. Oh, that one's open, that's great. Two. Hi there. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to give you some background details on certain pieces of lore, but for the most part they aren't very interesting and you don't really get a lot of additional information. For example, you do get to know that they have this technique to enhance people, but we already know that because we have seen the cutscene where our slow-mo was essentially like, surgically implanted into us if you want to use that term. So, did someone just shotgun me? 
anyway so there's no real need to check out all the background information and to be honest it would just bog down this play through a lot if we just if I, I was just sitting there and reading out all the pieces of intel some of Some of them are actually fairly long, and if they were narrated, there would be a different story, but they are not. And oh, those are burned corpses. Those don't look very pleasant. Oh, take a look at you. Are you exploding? Well, now you're dead, so... That didn't even drain all my health. I still have... I'm still on armor. Oh. Looks like I went on fire here and you... Stop shooting all this distance here. By the way, our slow-mo is different from point man slow-mo because our slow-mo is green. Which, by the way, is my favorite color. So. Oh, I actually killed you in one shot. I didn't expect that. So, but anyway, let's see what we have here. Just stuff we don't really need. So, let's see whether we can get the flamethrower, guys. Flamethrower, but it doesn't really look like it. Now, the flamethrower is a new weapon in this game, which I do appreciate because here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, napalm cannon. Which I do appreciate because the flamethrower is kind of missing from the first fear. You don't really need it. And the flamethrowers in video games are kind of mixed. There's a TV Tropes page on that and they're kind of right that a lot of video game flamethrowers suck. They'll, well, you kind of have to to balance video game flamethrowers because... Whoa. Real life flamethrowers, they actually have a terrifying range. But then again, they run out of ammo, well, if you want to call that ammo. Or fuel, well, we may as well call it ammo in the context of video games uh, rather quickly compared to what we can usually just haul around in video games. So there's there's a point. It oh yeah, you're you're definitely on fire. Yeah. Oh, those. Look how synchronized those guys. Just walk around here. Can you please already fall over? Come on. Well, they're still perfectly synchronized. That's kind of ridiculous. And what? Why did you jump through there? What the hell, guys? What are you doing? I think this is actually supposed to happen when you shoot an enemy who's on on a ledge or so, so they dramatically fall down. But it doesn't really seem to work all that well. When they're just standing in a room. And they need they need forever to die. Did I? Oh. Wait a second. Can I just have all the weapons in this game? Because I'm not quite sure right now. I thought you could you were limited to three. Oh, and you just oh, turned into him. Yeah, ducking is actually not good if you carry the, those gas bottles around. Because they only make you an easier target. Can you can you have all the weapons in this game? I thought you could only have three, like in the original fear, but I guess I was wrong. So let's just let's just use a handgun for a while for no real reason. Anyway, video game flamethrowers. Yeah, some of them are quite lame. I kind of like the one in Command and Conquer Renegade, but a lot of them are essentially just glorified blow torches. And that's kind of odd because generally video game weapons seem to be a lot better than their real life counterparts. What is it now? Alma, she must be after Sergeant Beckett. His telesthetic profile is off the charts. As I suspected, she can sense him without amplification. Hey, Snake Fist. Who the fuck is Alma anyway? She's the mother of the apostle. Snake Fist out. I'm at a loss for words. Are you here, sir? Look at him. That's not a gunshot wound. Who else could it have been? Psychotic lab technicians? There's no one else here. Soldiers I can handle, but this, man, I, I don't know. What the fuck? 
Yep. That's one way to put it, I guess. You know what? I don't have the half hour attacks for you guys to die, so let's just shoot you. So, got full ammo here, which is fine. Oh, that actually set me on fire. So, yeah, I'm, I'm underestimating how, how effective these explosions are. So, anyway, let's get in here. Yeah, all these bathrooms look identical, but then same building, but the same architect, so I guess that's justified. So, let's check the gents. Two plus was instead of that additional, additional toilet makes sense. And yeah, here we are supposed to go. Now it's all yellow. This looks even more like the Max Payne hospital than the hospital from extraction. What the? Oh, okay. Thanks. Armor or possibly an apparition. So. Well, you certainly died. It seems that Alma isn't really all that hostile to us. At least not right now. And I kind of have the feeling that the lame handgun is still more effective than the shotgun. It, it sounds really weak though, it doesn't really sound like a proper handgun, but then again, what do I know about actual weapons? That I do not know from video games. Not a whole lot. Okay, uh, yeah, it's, it's not that great. But I guess that's alright. So anyway, let's continue to explore a little bit. And nope, still don't need to heal up. So I don't think we have died so far. Not from what I recall, but then again, these are the earlier levels, so they shouldn't be all that difficult should they wow that is that is very bloody it's also the same x-ray images over and over again do you really just the shotgun feels so weak why am i not has a feeling it has almost no impact where did you come from whatever let's just see what we have here oh we came through here so never mind I uh, still don't like fire extinguishers. And let's see what's in the storage room here. I guess these guys just were do just having an operation because they have those face masks. Oh. Yep, that's definitely one of those naked ghost gu guys. Nah, no, I'm not even going to pick up until I don't really think it gets you anything. Maybe an achievement. Or possibly not even that, so, but really, uh, I don't really care. Only going to have to, ooh, okay. Only have to click them away when I do them, and it, it does interrupt dialogue and everything, so nah, let's just skip them. Let's instead get out our SMG. Uh, one of the best weapons in the game, at least, in the sense that it does have a decent amount of... ...of ammunition, and the magazine size is okay. And it's relatively common, so... Ooh, that looks nasty. Did you really just fit through there? Don't just shoot me like that. I was I was watching your friend getting slaughtered. So... Anyway. Let's... Oh. Shoot you. So, I wonder what's up with these axes. We've seen those couple of times I'm not quite sure what to make of them and wow it's, it's really dark here anyway can you go through yeah you can go through here ooh okay well these guys are getting slaughtered then again that's what Alma likes to do yep will do so, got another map kit we don't really need. They uh, really give us a lot of those right now. 
Oh, yeah, armor, we can use that. Submachine gun is full. And wait, is this is actually where our operation took place. Yeah, it looks like it. And Alma was watching. Ooh. Oh yeah, now I've got these naked mutants here. A new enemy type. More annoying because they're really, really fast. They're kind of like the... Ooh, pulling stunts here, yeah? They're kind of like the replica assassins in that sense, or the shades. Not that they're actually in... Where is that coming from? Not that they're actually that invisible, but they are fast and they are melee enemies, so... They kind of sneak up to you. Okay, there should be more of you, and that's a lot of... A lot of strange stuff here on the ground. So... Ooh. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you were. So... Oh! I really should watch out when I reload my weapons. The shotgun seems to be a lot more effective against these guys here. And just how many more of you are there? Yeah, that's definitely too much of a distance. They even... Did, did they live stream this? Because there's a camera. And you are caught in an endless loop. Well, until now. Whoa, what? Stop. They really like this corner. So here we go. Yeah, we can use that. So we actually run well low on health here. And this is a very strange right turn. But never mind, let's just continue. And see what we have here. More dead doctors. Can we go through here? Because this is an exit. House is closed. It's an exit. Looks like an emergency exit even. But never mind. Anything here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. So... Yeah, I don't think we can get through here. So where are we supposed to go? Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's try that again. And again. Here we go. That wasn't so difficult. Well, you're certainly dead. Beckett. Holy hell. That looks terrifying. Can we mercy kill him? Well, I guess he's dead now. Wow, that is, that is pretty gruesome. Almost over the top, though, yeah, there are a lot of symbols here. More of those mutants, and that, that had just scared me. So let's be careful here, and take it slow. Don't know why you stopped aiming. But I didn't want you to stop. Oh, more heads. Head physics. And it looks like that was interval 3. So thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.